for any spiritual people out there, I want to tell you how Charmed, Manifest, and The Conjuring all go together. But not in the way that you think. So, in real life, there's a spiritual war going on. And it's always two sides. The good versus the evil. It has nothing to do with gender. It has nothing to do with race. It's purely souls being either good or bad. So, when I watch The Conjuring, there's the lady, The Conjuring 3. The lady, she was doing spells and she was able to tap into the spiritual realm in a way that Lorraine naturally could since she was younger. So, that's exact ideology of people who learn it versus people who were born with it. Now, the people who learn it are more likely to be the ones who are evil. The ones who are naturally born with it are the ones who are more likely to be good. So I was just watching Charmed and the girls, they lost their powers, but they can still do spells. And I want to say this because we're naturally born with powers and we have to tap into them. We have to learn and figure them out. Those same powers that we were naturally born into, people can imitate that with the exact same energy. So the energies that we embody to have those powers, those energies can be man-made like through rituals and through spell casting and stuff like that. And that's why they can do things that they wasn't naturally born to do. But it's important for the people who were naturally born with these types of things to do exactly like those people do and read up and do hands-on experiments and like know things more. So that's the only thing that they've had over us this whole time is the fact that they knew our craft more than we knew our craft because we didn't know about it. We were just born with it so we didn't even know that it was something, you know, different. They definitely stripped us of our powers by not giving us the knowledge that we deserved or that we should have had. But that's how they got their upper hand because they have all the knowledge so they know how to manifest and imitate the energies that we have and need to do what we are supposed to do. And how manifest comes into it is the fact that they have callings and stuff. The callings that the conjuring, I mean not the conjuring, the manifest people get, that's how people who are naturally born with it get it. Okay, so I don't know if this is making exact sense, but I'm pretty sure whoever is meant to understand it will understand it. But I just wanted to put that all together because that's something I'm learning right now and I keep coming across the idea of how it all works. So I wanted to put that out there.